You want to learn how to make this beautiful web developer portfolio using AI completely for free? Well, you need to stay tuned and watch this whole video. I'm going to give you the prompts and I'm going to give you the resources on how to do this completely for free. All right, guys, so let's get started. We actually going to go in and cover what exactly you should have on your portfolio. So this is what it is. Okay. You want to have a navigation showing links to each section of the page. You want to have a hero section with a title, web developer, nice subtitle, highlighting some skills. And then from there, you want to have a skill section showing an area with icons for 10 different development skills. From there, the next step is having an about section a paragraph talking about why i chose this career some hobbies and a couple of images right the next thing after that is you want to have the portfolio section which is your six project images that link to the projects make them portrait mode and make a three column layout on desktop two column on tablet mobile one column and then you have a footer that links to each section okay so it brings the person right back up now like I said, this is pretty much the prompt that you're going to need for this. Now we're going to be using lovable.dev. Again, I'm not getting paid by lovable, but lovable, if you want to give me a sponsorship, I'm not going to say no, because I love this service. And again, it really is very helpful. So I'm going to start with just giving it the prompts. Okay. So we're going to start from here paste this in now the last thing that i want you guys to make sure is to put on the top of this prompt we are creating a web developer portfolio here are the details that's it okay so that's what the sections right here all the information and this is what it came up with okay it's a very nice portfolio very straight to the point but again we can customize this this is just the starting point okay so again now Let's say you're not a designer. Let's say you're not someone who has a design background and, you know, but you do know what you like, okay, and, and what you want to create. So this is what I would suggest. You want to go in and do some research in websites like One Page Love, right? And in here, find inspiration either for portfolio or for even just regular websites that you might find here. And then look at the sections that they might have and how you can go in and basically customize each section. So again, there's another website in here at themeforest.net. You can search for portfolio, you can search uh, creative agency, et cetera. And what you wanna do is you wanna go find something that you like, maybe a section that you, you like. And let's say for example, like this one, okay? Maybe I like the top section for the hero and I can use that as a way to customize my top header section okay so I'll give this a second okay and from here i might go in and say you know what i like this okay so i might copy this and then from there i'll go in and say uh, let's change the hero section to something more like this and then you could add an image that you took, right? A screenshot. And then from there, submit it. Okay. All right, guys. So before I show you guys how the portfolio actually came out, guys, check out the links in the description. Right now on codingphase.com, we are having a 50% off on everything. Okay. The diamond membership, every single course, every single bundle. So right now is the best time to come in and purchase from codingphase.com. Come check it out. All right. Let's continue. All right, cool. So now we got a good hero section, a good starting point for this hero section. I like it. I love it. Right. So the next thing that I would do is I will say, well, in this situation, I would just say on the hero section, make the image bigger. Right. And a bit more centered. on the right side okay another thing that i would do here is change the skill section change the skill section to have no cards on the icons i just want a circle for each icon and 
the skill title under it. All right. And maybe this about section might be good. Good to go. Now the portfolio section, I might want to change this. So again, I'm doing research. I'm looking through different type of designs, different type of websites, and I'll find something maybe for a better section for this. So for me, I think maybe I will go with this one, which is this type of style, which is like this is more vertical. Okay. So I would just take a screenshot of that and I will also add that image and say, let me see that it actually take it. Uh, give me one second. Yes, it did. Um, make the hero section like the image below. All right. And when we click on the image, it takes us to a site. All right, pretty cool. So at this thing still loading, so I'm gonna give it a second and I'll come back to it. Now I do want to mention that this design, this layout, this website, it will be done with React. So if you don't know how to do React and how to use it, okay, don't worry. I'm going to show you guys how to actually make this into just plain HTML and CSS. So that way you can actually go in and pretty much go in and use it just with a static site. Okay. And this is for the beginners, right? All of you guys that are a little bit more advanced, right? You already know how to use React. You already know about components. So yeah, you should be fine. Okay. So as you can see, we changed this. All right. And as you can see, the image is a little bit bigger, but we could do better than that. Okay. But it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm going to go in and actually change the image for a second, just to have something a little bit more human than the actual screenshot. All right. Now you can go in and add your picture, of course, later on. But for us, for this example, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to copy this image in here. Let me see if I get the the actual link for this inspect element. Okay. And here we go. Okay. This is the link and I'm going to tell it, make the hero image this link. Okay. All right. So while it's doing that, I'm also going to let you guys know that yes, you could customize this as much as you want, right? I, I will suggest for you guys to definitely customize this more. Okay. Uh, this section here still hasn't changed. So as you can see, it's not perfect, right? So you have to go in and sometimes edit it yourself, you know, add a couple of little things, um, you know, on, on your own end, right? I mean, you are a developer. You should be able to customize this as much as you want. But you can always go in and give it another prompt, like make sure the images on the portfolio section are actually uh, two, three ratio. Okay. So let's see. And there we go. We got the picture here and we also have the section that's working on it right now. So let's see once it gets it done. Give it a second. Okay. And here we go. There you go. We got a two, three ratio looking much better. And of course you could always customize this and change this around however you like, of course, play around with the prompts, add the things that you want to add to it. And yeah, so we got this looking pretty good, right? Uh, of course, you might want to go and do some changes, but that's up to you. Now, the next thing that I will say I would like to do to this is maybe change the colors, right? Sometimes you might say, well, I got a great layout, great design so far, but I want to change the colors around. So this is where you go in and, you know, you could use something like dribble, 
find a design that you like, and then from there, come back into it, you know, take a screenshot and maybe say, well, uh, let's make sure that this thing is following this type of design or like the color scheme of this. Okay. So let me see. Maybe I want to use this one. Let's see what are the color schemes on this one. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe I want to use this one. Okay. So I'm just showing you guys how you could go in and completely change the colors of this. Okay. And here we go. I like the layout of the site, but I want to change the color theme to use this image as an example. Okay. So then from there, right? Cause of course it's always going to do like a white background, some random, like little purple colors. I mean, if you like this and you're good to go, great. Keep it just like that. But if you want to go in and you want to have something more original, different type of color schemes, then you might want to go in and use other, you know, other designs or other things that you might go in and get some inspiration from. All right. So as you guys can see, we have a completely different color scheme for our portfolio. And again, this is how you're going to be able to go in and customize every single thing about your portfolio itself. All right. Pretty cool, right? Now that's it. This is the portfolio layout, right? You have everything here. Now, how do you get the code? Very simple. You're going to go in and you're going to sync your GitHub. You're going to click in here and you're going to click on connect to GitHub. Now, again, I'm going to show you guys this because literally, you know, most of you guys already know how to do this. It wouldn't make sense, uh, but basically just sign up to GitHub and from there you could have the code. Now, remember, this is going to come in uh, basically being done with react. So again, you're going to have all of the whole code base, right? Which is going to be using uh, react and Vite. Okay. So everything's in here. It's a bunch of components. You have tailwind CSS. So again, you have everything in here. Now, when it comes to HTML CSS, for those of you guys that are complete beginners and just trying to build your portfolio, you can click right here, right? This will open up a new window. Okay. So now you have the portfolio. You can actually see the website itself and how it will look. As you guys can see, it looks very nice, very professional. Okay. You could come over here and the next thing that you can do is you can download this extension, which is called go full page. Okay. Or just search screen capture on Google Chrome or even Firefox. And that will allow you to go in and take a picture of the image itself. Okay. Now, again, this is for those of you guys, this beginners, all of you guys that already know how to get the code and basically work with react. You're good to go from here on. You could, you know, start building your portfolio, deploy it, do whatever you want to do to it. I'm showing this to people who are complete beginners that maybe they just know HTML, CSS, and they wouldn't even know how to deal with JavaScript. So if that's your case, or maybe you are a backend developer or someone using another framework other than react, and you want to get this design, you can now take this image and you could go to v0 okay so v0.dev and basically you could actually clone the screenshot so now let's go to the downloads upload the image and then from there basically you're gonna go in and have this whole code okay and I'm going to say I'm gonna stop it for a second because it's gonna start coding it and it's just gonna build it with react I want to go in and make sure that we give it instructions to basically build this with HTML, CSS, please build this to a page with just HTML and CSS and make sure is responsive. Now from there, you're going to get the basics of like just the HTML and CSS of this design. 
Now you could go in there and be more detailed, take screenshots of each section so it could actually build it exactly the same. Cause as you guys can see here, it's not exactly identical to the image, but guess what? You actually have the actual website here on your lovable site. Okay. So at the end of the day, you could always come back in, take some of the elements from here, like the, the CSS, etc. Right. Um, and then from there, you just transfer it over to that plain HTML CSS version of it. Okay. Um, again, if you don't know how to do this, then yeah, you just got to take a couple of more courses so you can understand how this works. All right. So I'm trying to make it as simple as possible, but giving you guys enough information where you guys can go come in and, and, you know, start building this from there on. Okay. But of course, I'll be honest, the best version is going to be the one from lovable, like lovable. I don't know how they train that model, but it's really, really good with design. It, like they really killed it with that uh, service. So again, this is why I also told it's important to learn react and just because a lot of this LLMs, they're, you know, trained on using React. So the best version, most of the time of whatever application you're going to be building, 99% of the time is going to be built with React. Okay. So again, guys, hopefully you guys like this video. Like I said in the beginning of the video, right in the middle of the video, right? Guys, come check out codingphase.com. All right. This is the platform where we teach you how to code. We teach you how to get into the game. We already have a lot of results. We've gotten a lot of people placed into positions, right? And it's really by us going in and focusing on the fundamentals, helping you land your first job. And then from there, teaching you everything else that you're going to need. Okay. Don't make your life difficult. Get your entry level job. And then from there, with the experience of your entry level job, you will get the other jobs that's going to be full stack or even, you know, react developer, etc. All right, guys. So definitely check out the website. Like I said, 50% off on everything on the site. Go check it out.